Cutting weight is a common practice among MMA fighters. Today, we take a look at the weight cuts that push the limits of what was safe or should have been allowed. That being said, some fighters have a tendency to push the limits on how many pounds they can drop. This has led to some serious weight cuts that cause concern to those watching. Today, we take a look at some particular instances where fighters took things to the next level, nearly taking things too far. Number 10. Daniel Cormier, UFC 214 Another fighter who is ever professional, Daniel Cormier never missed weight, even when there have been some controversies. However, it was clearly much more challenging for him to make weight when he dropped from heavyweight to light heavyweight. Even though he has a bit of a rounded physique, he still tends to have pretty big weight cuts for his fights at 205 pounds. The true extent of the difficulties he had making weight was seen at UFC 214. Prior to his rematch with John Jones, DC stepped on scales, looking sickly. With his face sunken in and him clearly dehydrated, this was one of the worst situations he had put himself in before a fight. He would go on to lose the contest via TKO before it was overturned to a no contest. Number 9. Craig White UFC Fight Night 130 When he got the call to fight Neil Magny in a welterweight bout on two weeks' notice, Craig White was more than willing to step up. The only problem was that he weighed 216 pounds, meaning he needed to lose 46 pounds in 14 days. What ensued was one of the most dangerous weight cuts to ever occur in the UFC. Surviving on a 600-calorie diet and utilizing a lot of hot baths to drop the weight, White somehow makes the 171 pounds limit. However, this did not come without cost, as he was left only getting about two hours of sleep a night in order to have enough time to lose all of the weight. Number 8. Johnny Hendricks UFC Fight Night 112, UFC 200 Unfortunately, the career of former welterweight champion Johnny Hendricks is known more for its lows rather than its highs. He has had a career of two parts. The first part that saw him nearly defeat Georgia Street Pierre before winning the title GSP left vacant, and the part after he lost the title that saw an extreme decline in his results in the cage. Of course, the biggest hurdle that was seen came in the form of his difficult weight cuts. His very next fight would see him miss weight by an even bigger amount, causing the UFC to force him to make the move to middleweight. However, this would not serve as the end of his weight misses, as he hit the scales two pounds heavy in just his second fight at the new weight class. This, combined with the fact that he went 2-5 to five since losing his title, led to his retirement from MMA in 2017. Number 7. Kenny Florian UFC 136 When Kenny Florian competed on the first season of The Ultimate Fighter, he did so at middleweight. Despite making it to the finals, it was clear that he was far undersized for the division. He would immediately compete in the welterweight division for his next two fights, before moving to what was his natural weight class of 155 pounds. Although he made weight in both of his two fights at 145 pounds, his second bout in the division, for the title against Jose Aldo, would see Ken Flo embark on one of the most horrifying weight cuts ever. After looking like death incarnate at the weigh-ins, he would lose by decision and retire shortly thereafter. Number 6. Max Holloway, UFC 218 Although we have come to discover that Max Holloway is a bit small for lightweight at the moment, that does not mean his weight cuts to 145 pounds are easy. The former featherweight champion is known for his love of sweets, and that has led to him putting on a few more pounds than what he would normally prefer. When he took to the scales, the normally jovial and light-hearted Holloway was silent and solemn, with his face severely sucked in. It was one of the worst things we have ever seen him go through, even compared to some of his fights inside the cage. Number 5. Mizuto Hirota, UFC Fight Night Japan Taking on Rani Yahia in 2013, Mizuto Hirota almost could not make it to the contest. Before the featherweight debut, the UFC veteran tried to take the scale to meet the 146 pounds limit. However, he nearly passed out on the scale, due to him having one of the scariest weight cuts ever seen. Needing assistance to make it to the scale, Hirota stood while the measurements were taken. After successfully weighing in, he began to sway backward, looking like he was going to pass out. 
Number 4. James Irvin UFC on vs. 1 By far, James Irvin is one of the worst examples of how bad weight cuts can go for a UFC fighter. The longtime veteran traditionally fought at light heavyweight, but after getting battered by Anderson Silva in the Brazilian's 205-pounds debut, he decided it was time to make a change. Therefore, he opted to drop down to 185 pounds. Prior to his fight against Alessio Sakara, the California native drained every bit of his water weight to reach 185 pounds, looking completely unrecognizable at the weigh-ins. This dangerous decision led to criticism from Donna White, and after he lost that fight, he would return to a more healthy position at light heavyweight. Number 3. Kevin Lee UFC 216 Kevin Lee was not going to let anything stop him from making it to his interim lightweight title fight against Tony Ferguson. As it turned out, the Motown phenom was actually bold enough to hide the fact that he had staph infection from the Athletic Commission. That being said, it was pretty clear to see the spot on his chest, especially during the weigh-ins. As a result of this battle with staff, Lee had one of the hardest weight cuts of his entire career. Saying that it almost killed him, he missed weight at first, but managed to cut the rest of the weight to make the championship limit. Number 2. Conor McGregor UFC Fight Night Boston When UFC superstar Conor McGregor was first rocketing through the promotion, he was doing so by competing at featherweight. However, these weight cuts to 145 pounds were always extremely challenging. Frankly, all of his featherweight fights could end up on this list for how poorly he looked on the scale. When McGregor was set to fight Dennis Seber, he weighed in at his required weight limit. Yet his gaunt and sunken appearance garnered a ton of negative press afterward, leaving fans concerned to see him like that. Number 1. Anthony Johnson UFC 106, UFC 142 By far the biggest poster child for unbelievable weight cuts is Anthony Rumble Johnson. Before he was a gigantic bodybuilder, and even before he was sending light heavyweights into the other, Johnson somehow used to fight at welterweight. Although there were times he missed weight, his most disturbing appearance was when he made weight before fighting against Josh Koscheck. He was set to face Vador Belfort, but missed weight by an insane 12 pounds, leading to his release from the UFC. After this, he found his true place at light heavyweight, making his way back to the UFC and fighting for the title on two separate occasions, 